For my first project, I decided to do injury prevention for weightlifting with Alex Montes, who is still a beginner. To prevent injuries when lifting weights, I focused on strengthening the knees, ankles, and shoulders, which are the most common places for injuries. I also incorporated a warm-up, stretches, and a cool-down. I gave Alex a warm-up to do every day he went to the gym, even after I stopped working with him. This helps prevent injuries by stretching and warming up his muscles so he can start off his workout. The warm-up consisted of hip circles, arm circles, jump rope, walkouts, reverse lunge to knee, Squats, and squat pulses. Then he did static stretching and each was 60 to 90 seconds. We started off with a glute crossover, then moved on to the doorway stretch. To the couch stretch and calf and ankle stretch then moved on to dynamic stretches which took five minutes we started off with the world's greatest stretch Went to the bird dog stretch. Then did knee to chest. Foot to chest. and side lunges. For the second part of my program, I focused on strengthening his knees, ankles, and shoulders, which are very commonly used, but probably the weakest. I didn't want to overdo it either, so I gave him three simple exercises for each. For the knees, he did. short arc quad which was 15 to 25 reps and mainly focused on strengthening the quads which are used for knee extension single leg glute bridges which were 10 to 15 reps and mainly help stabilize the spine glute bridges with the ball in between his legs which was 10 to 15 reps and helped strengthen the lower back and improve hip mobility. Moving on to the ankles, I had him do restricted plantar flexion 20 reps. Restricted inversion for 10 to 15 reps.
and restricted dorsiflexion for 20 reps. Finally, for the shoulders, he did side lane external rotation, two to three sets, 10 to 15 reps, and this mainly focused on strengthening the infraspinatus and teres minor. The full can exercise for two to three sets with 10 to 15 reps, and this focused on strengthening the supraspinatus and external rotation presses, which were 10 reps for two to three sets, and this focused on shoulder stability. For the third part of my program, I thought it was most important to show Alex proper form when lifting weights. To show results and improvement, I took before and after videos of him doing front squats, whereas you can see he didn't go very low and his feet weren't wide enough. Back squat, which wasn't too bad, but he was going too fast. and deadlift, which wasn't bad either, but I wanted him to focus on not using his back so much. Now for the after videos. In the front squat, you can see that they were way lower and he had a wider stance. For the back squat, it was a little slower, but it was still too fast. And he also added weight. And for deadlift, he didn't have very much wrong to begin with, but he was able to add weight. After everything, I also gave him a cool down to do whenever he works out. I worked with Alex three times a week for three weeks and he did show improvement with form and strength. At the end of the third week, I asked if he felt like the program worked and he said that it did and he plans on using it for longer. He also says that his ankle shoulders feel much more stable and stronger. I hope that with this project, I'm able to help and teach others like Alex. Thank you for your time.